Hello my convicts and convict heads, yes I decided to come for convict bringing you guys and gals a new gameplay and as you can see here we're gonna play some Modern Warfare Remastered I thought why not let's jump into some Modern Warfare Remastered because obviously soon we'll be playing Modern Warfare and obviously that is a retake on this classic game and it's gonna be with a little bit of a difference obviously with the doors and everything and it looked really, really cool. So what we're using today, we're actually using something that a YouTuber said to do on YouTube by the name of Exclusive Ace. Ace basically turned around and said about using Juggernaut because it gives you the feeling for the time to kill that will be in Modern Warfare. So I thought, well that sounds pretty cool, let's try that out and see what it's like. So that's what we're doing today. We're also using Steady Aim for the hip fire. And... I can't remember what the other one is. I know there was Juggernaut, Hipfire, which was Steady Aim, and oh, Engineer, so I could see all the bombs and stuff. Because obviously, people love to drop down C4s and hide in corners. So I use that in order to obviously keep a track of what people are doing. And I'm using the M4, as you can see here, which is a pretty dominant gun, as you can see. So here we go. So I'm trying to help out the team, trying to find out where people are coming from. Keep a track of where the enemies are at, because obviously not playing these maps for very well, for years and years and years. I I sometimes get lost on maps and I ain't got a clue where I'm going. Is this guy shooting? I don't even know where he come from unless he spawned there. I ain't got a clue. But because I couldn't turn quick enough to him, I did change up some of the sensitivity a little bit as well, just to sort of combat that problem, just in case. You never know. There we go. This guy's teabagging people. Am I? Is he teabagging or is he just crouch walking? I don't know. And he runs over and then does the same again. And I'm like, what's he doing? <laughs> He's just running around, just ducking up and down. Eventually, he unfortunately gets killed bit further back and take one guy out. See the other guy but I wanted to reload. Throw out a bomb there just in case. And I was gonna come out and got tagged then. I was like oh my god who shot me. My teammate then got killed himself. I was like uh, I've got a guy coming this way, I've got a guy here. So where do I turn? I don't know. But uh, hey ho we got the UAV. So I'm just trying to find out where they're coming from because obviously you can see people dying down here so from a good old flashbang. This is what I mean by the bombs and flashbangs so I think this is going to be probably the biggest problem just constant bombs and flashbangs all the time. Hopefully it's not going to be the case but uh, it's going to be pretty annoying having constant bombs and flashbangs throwing about. Because obviously as soon as someone instantly spawns what do they do? They throw a flash or a bomb. So just trying to find out where people are at and then in comes their bombing squad thing whatever it's called that's how long i haven't played this game and excuse me for yawning jeez it is like the early hours in the morning we've got another uav so is that uav galore for me at the moment just trying to find that guy Eventually took him out with the swiftness. Took his little pistol thing as well because I was really low on bullets and I, I knew obviously I'm going to struggle. So this guy over here was like, I'm going to chase you. Come here. Come here. And there we go. Eventually got me. He nearly got me. But luckily I had fired him. It was a pretty good duke that he did that. Uh, and almost got me killed. There we go, we've got the helicopter. Now the only problem is obviously I've only got a pistol, so I was like, eh, I don't know if pistols are good in this game, but 
we're gonna have to do. Unfortunately, I've got nothing else can use unless I can find another gun, and eventually I do, as you can see. Right, right, this will do. And then I noticed this gun as well. I was like, oh, I have this one as well. Pick up me uh, an assortment of different guns. Take out this guy over here. Another dude over here. It's like, yay! Get all the kills. And then unfortunately get flashbangs. I tried to turn around and just double check. Luckily, he didn't catch me or whatever he was doing. I don't know. And then there's two guys here. It's like, oh god. All the all the people hiding in the corners. I know like, you're not hiding in the corner, buddy. I'll just tip fire you. I never do it here. This is another good thing I like about this game in particular, especially Modern Warfare, is the fact that the hip fire is really really good in this game. So I'm just trying to figure out where they are, and uh, luckily he ran without seeing me hiding in the corner, trying to reload. And then unfortunately, because I had to reload. This is the reason why I reload so much in this game, because the magazine size just isn't big enough to kill someone uh, after the first kill. So pick up his gun as well, which is an LMG. I'm sure Jack Semtikai would love this area because it's all about Ireland. So you can hear someone come in. It's like, okay, well, there's someone definitely here. Take out and take out the guy in the background here, and try and get a reload in. And then I was like, "No, I'm just gonna take his gun because <laughs> I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna risk it." Put a flash down there, and I was gonna try and throw a bomb, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I died. It put me off so bad. Otherwise, I probably could have killed that guy. So that right, where are you now? Throw a bomb through. It's like, well, I can see that there's two in here, but what they're doing? And I noticed the right to the back. I was like, right, if the right to the back, possibly. Hiding in the corner somewhere, so I'm like, I don't know. But right, I'll kill this guy first. And then let's try and sneak in and see if we can get. A sneaky peek on these guys and like, right, got one. And then it's just getting the other one now. Excuse me for knocking my microphone there. I got a recon. The guys must have loved me because all I was doing is like UAV, UAV, UAV. Getting UAVs is so easy. There we go, another one down. Well, let me know what you think of this M4 carbine. I actually like it. It's really, really good. It actually does really, really well for me. So I was trying to call it in, but unfortunately, my teammate got it. So it's like, okay, teammate's got it. So I surely can call it in now. And yes, I can. So I'll, like, I'll drop it there. And I noticed this guy obviously shooting. I've only got a pistol. And there we go. And I think I did pretty well to say I've not played this game in absolutely ages. And the end result is 28 and 4, a 7 KD game. Hoorah! So here we go with round 2, so let's get to it. So this is round 2, unfortunately, as we all know, when... You play a couple of games, you run into a lot of lobbies where people will camp, hide, and just basically be rubbish players, and just, you have to play search and destroy, hide and go seek. It really annoys me when they do this, because it really puts a downer on the game. So as you can see, I've got a new gun, the G3. I think it's called, yeah, the G, is it the G36C? So it's like, right, okay, so we've got a bomb thrown at us, so there's people over here. I was taking a bit of damage, luckily, because we've got Juggernaut on, I was able to tank a little bit of those shots, which is good. I'm just trying to figure out where they are now, and where they might be camping at. Take out the guy down at the bottom. 
was like, okay, well, there's people over here, but I don't know where. So I'll throw the flash out. And maybe I'll catch someone. I was like, no. And I'm just trying to figure out where people are at. And for some reason, he, he aimed so super fast there. And he one burst me with that. I was like, oh, okay. I felt like I did shoot at least a bullet or so at him, but... Fair enough. And then I was like, what's this guy doing? He's going up here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get him. I unfortunately couldn't kill him. <laughs> Just chased him all that way thinking, ah, oh, I'm gonna get you. And no. So as you can see, I'm like, no, I'm not trying, I'm not gonna play that G3 anymore because with the iron sights, I just didn't feel the gun, and I've been doing so well with this one. I'm just kind of silly to have changed. So take another dude out. I'm just trying to stick with this gun, obviously, for now, because obviously I can't do not with it until I die. So it's like, well, I'll just keep on playing. And I noticed that there's a red dot sight version of this weapon. I was like, well, I'll try that. See if it's better with the red dot sight. Because obviously yeah, I felt a little bit off-putting with that. And I didn't even know you could get up to the top like the guy was doing there. I was like, mm, okay. So you can get up top and camp up there, can you? And if you've noticed as well, this time around I've got a suppressor on this weapon. I don't really like the suppressor on this, to be honest. After playing with it a few games. Because it actually takes an entire clip. Just to kill one enemy, more or less. Just literally an entire clip. And the only problem with this is obviously if you get two people running together, it's impossible, like you can see there, impossible for you to actually kill both of them. But as you can see there, it's, it takes far too long. I was like, okay, well, not much I could do that. I can see his legs, like, I can see you. Hiya, I'm back, and then I picked up his gun, obviously changing my class, I wasn't able to change it back, so I thought I'd just keep on stealing classes until I can obviously get kills in. And God knows why that stun took that long to wear off, I literally couldn't do nothing. And it felt like 10 minutes that I was stunned there, because I... Normally they don't last that long. It doesn't feel like they last that long. So I think there's a a certain area where bombs do more effects than they do other places. Like if it lands near you but it's not right in front of your face, it stuns you just a little bit. If it's like a full on in front of your feet, it serious stun. So I'm just trying to find out where this camper is hiding in this corner. So like, ah yeah. I was waiting for you. Now, again, this is another area I don't really know of. So you'll notice I'll run around and I haven't got a clue where I am. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm like, um, how long does this go on for? And obviously you can see enemies, so I'll just check in my back. I literally couldn't find it all. And I, and I struggled to get my way out, and then I just thought, well, I'll just chill here for a minute, just find out where people are, and call in the UAV. I was just trying to think, would there be anyone coming up here? I was like, nah, I'm not going to go down here, because I, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I am when I'm down there. It's like, I don't want to be down there. So I'm just trying to obviously avoid the helicopter, that was the one thing that I wanted to avoid. And as soon as I go to leave, because the helicopter's gone, a guy comes up behind me and shoots me in the back. And I didn't hear him. There's no footstep sound or anything, so I think a lot of people are running dead silence in the game. But unfortunately I don't have dead silence, because that's level 44, and I'm level 40 I think it is. I have level 38, 39 or 40, something, something along those lines. I know I'm not 44, and that's where you're going to be to actually get the Dead Silence perk. So, I was going to kill him, but unfortunately, got flashbanged hard in the face, and then when I jumped, his teammate shot me instead. 
quickly Juggernaut save my butt there. But yeah, exclusive A said that this would be the time to kill without having stopping power or anything. That's why I said don't use stopping power on the weapon because stopping power would actually decrease even though there is stopping power in Modern Warfare. It gives you a proper idea of what the time to kill is without stop stopping power being applied. I'm like, okay, well, there's people down here. Let's uh, try and flush them out. Like, where is he then? It says he's there. I was just trying to figure out. So I threw a bomb down at the back to see if we can catch anyone off guard. Do flash somebody. I don't know where they were. And then I noticed this guy here. Just trying to quickly take him out if I can. And then notice there's a guy in the corner here somewhere as well. There we go. And then we've got another guy here. And then I do eventually get flashed. But luckily he doesn't kill me. But now we're down to pistols. Me and my teammate also had pistol. I was like, well I can't push. Because I've got no to shoot them with. My teammate obviously just ran for to try and grab a gun. I was like, well, I can't do no. <laughs> I've just got... A terrible little pistol, and they'll be camping in a corner there. Was I in a wall bang? Oh, no, I guess not. So again, another flash. I uh, tried my best to kill the guy. Luckily, I managed to kill him and get away. And then I thought, right, just quickly call UAV in, dodge the bullets from behind, get a few shots back myself, and then just leg it out the way. And I was like, right, I know there's a guy coming this way. Kill him. And now, down to just a few bullets left again. Right, right, which way do I go? Do I go this way or that way? I don't know. Well, I'm, I need to go back down because this is where they're going to be at. And just try and find out where they are, which obviously camping in the building is normal. There we go, got another dude. Was that bad? Will I kill anyone if I put it on top of the building? See if we can kill anyone off that. Unfortunately, as you can see, it doesn't kill anybody. But you've got to try sometimes. I know sometimes, obviously, if people in buildings, it does still kill them on the odd occasion. More bombs and stuff coming through. I'm like, oh my god. But this is one thing I hope Modern Warfare is not too much like with the constant this and bombs because it, it, that's going to get pretty annoying having bombs and flashes because that's one thing I've always noticed with such as Call of Duty they've never seemed to get the bombs and the flashes right especially the flashes because they are the worst because once you get flashed you literally can't do anything but there we go hopefully you enjoyed if you did, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, tap that notification bell to be notified of all my videos. You truly can be one of Kappa's convicts or a convict head for ladies. And yes, it is I, the Kappa convict, signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convict heads. And I'll see you soon in another gameplay. And as you can see, not too shabby, but not as good as the first round. But hey, we tried. And bye for now.